Hi guys! Welcome to Chen's Japanese Kitchen! Hmm, today I have many things to do and I also have to go to training. I'm not sure if I have enough time to eat lunch. What should I do? Oh yeah! I have a good idea. Let's make Torimeshi Bento Box! So, let's get cooking! That's right guys! I'll be doing something a little special today. Since I have some training, I'll be making my lunch in this beautiful bento box. In Japan, many people carry their own bento boxes to enjoy home-cooked meals at work or for their children's school lunches. This bento box is extra special as it's made with Tosa ancient cedar from Kochi Prefecture. It has a unique and wonderful aroma and looks amazing. It also comes with a wooden lid and a coat insulation lid so you can use them according to the season. There are three different spaces for your main and side dishes, so you can have a full meal while on the go. Alternatively, you can take the wooden spacers out and enjoy just one dish as I will do today. If you are interested in this bento box, please click the link in the description down below. So we'll be making togimeshi, a simple dish of tender chicken thigh, sweet vegetables, and umami packed dashi broth and some fluffy rice. Perfect for any meal, especially your bento, as it has all your necessary nutrients to keep you energized throughout the day. As we've done many times on my channel, we'll start off making the dashi. This time, we'll use 500 milliliters of cold water and soak 8 grams of kombu. 5 grams of dried shiitake and 3 grams of dried kikurage or dried wood ear mushrooms. This might be hard to find, so you can leave this out. We will let these rehydrate in the water for 30 minutes. In the meantime, wash the rice to get rid of the excess starch. I recommend using a sieve and bowl to drain the rice easily. Wash around 3 to 4 times until the water turns clear. Drain and set aside. After 30 minutes have passed, take out the shiitake and kikurage and set aside. Bring the water to 70 degrees Celsius and gently simmer for 3 minutes. Then take out the kombu. Bring the dashi to a boil and add in 8 grams of bonito flakes. Mix and turn off the heat. Let that sit for 3 to 5 minutes. Then pass through a sieve and kitchen paper and you have our dashi. If you are in a rush, you can replace it with dashi powder. Next, we'll add some seasonings. The dashi is now around 420 milliliters, to which we'll add 60 milliliters of Japanese cooking sake, soy sauce, and mirin. Give it a mix and set aside. For some protein, I'll be making some soft boiled eggs. The pointed end of the egg is the bottom and the more rounded side is the top. On the rounded side, we will use a small skewer and make a small hole like this. Nice! This will help the gas inside the egg escape and become easier to peel. Also, using room temperature eggs will help too. We will boil these for 6 minutes. After 6 minutes have passed, run it under cold water to chill and peel the shell. There, you have a perfect soft boiled egg! Pat dry and put into the seasoned dashi to marinate. Next, let's prepare our torimeshi ingredients. We will use one chicken thigh and the rehydrated shiitake mushrooms from earlier. If you don't use these in the dashi, you can use fresh ones instead. Also, 40 grams of burdock root, 10 grams of carrot, half a takenoko or bamboo shoot and around 10 snow peas. The chicken may have some bones, so be sure to check and remove any if necessary. Next, remove the skin. Then, cut off any excess fat and cartilage. Slice into 2 cm bite-sized pieces and set aside. For the shiitake mushrooms, pat dry and remove the stalk. Then, cut into thin slices. 
I washed the burdock root ahead of time, which we will cut into thin slices with the skin on as it has a lovely earthy aroma. While rotating the burdock root, slice into thin shards like so. This is a Japanese cutting method called sasagaki. Place in cold water and set aside. Next, we will use about two finger-sized pieces of carrot. Peel off the skin and cut into thin shards. For the bamboo shoot, cut into similar sized thickness as carrots. For the snow piece, snap off one end and remove the thin string along the side. Then, snap off the other end and remove the opposite side like this. Do you remember that chicken skin we removed earlier? It contains a lot of umami so we're gonna top our torimeshi with it. First, add some oil to a frying pan and spread the chicken skin on medium heat. Fry and place the tray or something heavy on top of the chicken skin to keep it flat. Flip it over and repeat. And there you have a beautiful, crispy and delicious piece of chicken skin. Nice! Using the oil from the chicken skin, fry the chicken thigh on high heat. Then add all the vegetables and gently mix. I also added some aburaage or deep fried tofu as I had some lying around. Next, add all the seasoned dashi and bring to a boil. Turn up the heat and leave for 5 to 10 minutes. This will help soak the taste into the ingredients and also make the dashi even tastier. After 5 to 10 minutes have passed, pass through a sieve and add 150 milliliters of water to the dashi. This should now be 600 milliliters in total. In a large pot, add in your washed rice, all the ingredients, then 600 milliliters of the dashi. On top, we'll add the snow peas. Close the lid and bring to a boil. You'll be able to smell all the wonderful aromas of the chicken, vegetables, and the dashi. Once boiling, Turn down to low heat and simmer for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes have passed, check inside and if there is still moisture left, keep on heat for a few minutes. Oh, beautiful aroma! I know you want to eat it right away, but here is the point of patience. After turning off the heat, be sure to steam it for 10 minutes. Give the torimeshi a good mix and place it into your bento box. Add the soft boiled eggs and the crispy chicken skin to add extra umami and beauty. And there you have our torimeshi bento box. Doesn't it look great? I can't wait to eat it. But first, I gotta go to my training. See you later. <laughs> I've done my training. Look at this such a beautiful scenery. But however, I get a little bit hungry. It's time to eat my lunch. Wow, look at this. It's still fresh and intact. Mmm, the smell of the wood of this bento box makes this torimeshi richer. Let's eat it. Torimeshi. Okay, so this bento box is very convenient and easy to carry and kept my torimeshi very fresh and of course it was very delicious. Okay, that's all for today. We all say ごちそうさまでした!
Remember, if you'd like to purchase this limited bento box, click the link in the description below.